Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today's going to be kind of a quickie review. I don't really have much to say about this, but and I wasn't going to review it at all, but there is one passage in here that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but this is Kurt Vonnegut's God Bless You, Dr. Kevorkian. This is an, it's a super, super short collection of like short stories. Short, they're not really short stories. It is uh, about... Uh, Kurt Vonnegut himself, if you don't know, he always wrote himself as the main character or one of his his alter egos like Kilgore Trout, that kind of thing. Um, this is just a series of his, not really interviews, but uh, Dr. Kevorkian kind of, well not kind of, keeps half killing him. Uh, if you don't know, Dr. Kevorkian is a doctor in the United States who was helping people commit suicide uh, when they were terminally ill. People that no longer wanted to live through the pain, that kind of thing. I think he ended up going to prison. I can't remember, and I didn't look it up before I shot the video. But uh, so this is this is Kurt Vonnegut supposing that he has uh, that so I don't know about every day or so. Uh, he goes to Doctor Kevorkian. Doctor Kevorkian half kills him. That's what it says in the book. And then he goes and he he meets all these different people. And it's not really interviews, but he does discuss what they talk about. And I'm going to go back here. The, the list of list of persons, if you're interested, uh, this might end up not being a quickie review. I don't know. But uh, uh, Dr. Mary D. Ainsworth, Salvatore Biagini, I'm not sure, Burnham Burnham, uh, John Brown, Gorish Burke, uh, Clarence Darrow, Eugene Victor Debs, Harold Epstein, Vivian Hallinan, Adolf Hitler, which we'll get to in a minute, John Wesley Joyce, Francis Keene, Sir Isaac Newton, Peter Pellegrino, James Earl Ray, the guy who killed uh, Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., uh, William Shakespeare, Mary, almost, almost screwed, no, well, I'll just say Mary Shelley, her middle name or her maiden name, I, I, Wollstonecraft? Wollstonecraft. Uh, Car Carla Faye Tucker, Kilgore Trout, which is who I mentioned before, and then Isaac Asinov. Uh, my favorite ones in here are uh, the my favorite sections, not my favorite people. Adolf Hitler, uh, Sir Francis Newton, Kilgore Trout, and Isaac Asimov. Um, I had no idea Isaac Asimov was as prolific as he was. Um, how much had he written? Uh, this book made me go out and look up some of his stuff. Probably not going to read any of it, because that's just not my thing. But uh, it did interest me, because um, I didn't know the history behind him. I knew he was a famous science fiction writer, I just didn't realize how much he had written. So we're going to go to page 45. I'm going to read you a segment here from Adolf Hitler, because it has it struck a chord with me um, the, the, the same way that uh, living down here in the South, um, if you're a Southerner and you're one of the people, to kind of like the nationalist, this is probably going to upset you, so go ahead and click away now before I get rage comments on you just don't understand Southern history. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Um, but the, it struck a chord with me um, reading this, how uh, so it's, I've always thought about the Civil War being the same thing as Nazi Germany, um, being on the same level. So the statues of the Confederate soldiers and all the, the rebel flags and everything has always bothered me around here. Um, even before all the debate with them pulling down the flag from for sale at Walmart, of all places, uh, and, and all that stuff. It's, it's always bothered me because it's, like, it's not a good point in history. So he's talking to, to Adolf Hitler, and Adolf Hitler says, I paid my dues along with everybody else, he said. It is his hope that a modest monument, possibly a stone cross, since he was a Christian, will be erected somewhere in his memory, possibly on the grounds of the United Nations headquarters in New York. It should be incised, he says, with his name and dates, 1889 to 1945, underneath should be a two-word sentence in German. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, because I'm... <laughs> no offended someone. Uh, roughly translated into English, this comes out, I beg your pardon or excuse me. Um, I like that section. Like I said, uh, mo most of these people I didn't know. Um, I didn't say that. I said like I said. But um, what I was getting at is most of these people I didn't know. So the other interviews or these other segments I didn't really get. Some of them were funny even though I didn't know the person. But the three that I enjoyed the most were those. The James O. Ray one was 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 actually kind of bothersome 
Um, it's just that that one, like I said before, he uh, he's the guy who killed Martin Luther King Jr. It was a, it was very disturbing to hear. But well, I know it's fiction. Don't get me wrong. I know it's fiction. But it was very disturbing to hear um, James Earl Ray talk about how famous he made Martin Luther King Jr. by killing him. That's the whole section of that. He was really pissed off. Um, and I don't think there's a hell in here. I believe at some point in time that uh, that uh, Vonnegut says there is no hell, there's only the heaven. So even the bad guys got to go to heaven kind of deal. I thought that was interesting, but the, the, the whole book has a section of inter interviews, so if you know those people and you come across this book, Maybe, maybe pick it up. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it. I, I'm giving it four stars just for the sections that I knew. I mean, I can't really fault the book for, you know, for describing scenes, scenarios, you know, people that I didn't know. But I, I do have a, a huge problem, and I'm yes, I'm knocking off a star for this one. It's eighteen dollars for this little hardcover. The book is uh, seventy-two pages. And this is all the white space you get. I mean, there's whole pages without without uh, writing on it. I would say it's probably about more like 60 pages. Um, and for for your money, if you can find it cheap, get it. If not, I really don't believe it's worth it, except for maybe as like a coffee table book. So yeah, this wasn't a quickie review. <laughs> but yeah, I just figured I'd share my thoughts on this one. Um, it's not normally my type of thing. Uh, I like Vonnegut, but I like more of his... Uh, his story driven stuff and this really wasn't story driven um i did like some of the snippets about dr kevorkian um he, he's not really in the book very much uh but yeah so if you guys want to it, it well what, uh, what i'm getting at let me finish that thought he's not really in the book as much there's no com there's no commentary there's no uh interviewing dr kevorkian and that's another thing that i thought was funny i really would have liked to have seen more from Dr. Kevorkian. Maybe he couldn't because he just used the name. He wasn't allowed to put it. I don't, I don't know. But it just seemed funny that there was so much about him in here and he's not actually part of the interviews. Maybe that's intended. I don't know. But uh, have you read uh, God Bless You, Dr. Kevorkian, or do you have any comments on this video? I'm sure you do. Uh, leave them down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!